Hello and welcome to Beginner Percussion. I'm very excited to have you with us and to start this wonderful journey of percussion with you. We're gonna start today without any of our equipment because I know a lot of you are still waiting on your books and your pads and your sticks and all those things. And so since we're gonna give those things time to show up, we're not gonna worry about them right now, but we are gonna work on some stuff where you don't need any of that. And so the first thing we're gonna talk about today is what is the most important job in percussion. And for us, our number one job is keep the beat. Now there are a lot of cool things that we're gonna to get to play and hit on and sing and say and do all kinds of cool stuff with. But no matter what we do in percussion, none of it counts unless we do our job. And our number one job is very simple. Keep the beat. Say it with me. Keep the beat. One more time. Keep the beat. So no matter what we do this year, next year, or 30 years from now when you're doing percussion, always remember what is my job? Keep the beat. And I'll tell you a little secret. In percussion, everyone thinks the best player is the fastest player or the player with the coolest tricks, but that's just a lie. The best player is the player who can keep the beat. So always be that person. So because our number one job is to keep the beat, then our best friend is gonna be our metronome. There are many, many metronomes out there. Yours won't look exactly like this, but they all do the same thing. And that's give us a steady tempo or a steady beat. And so we're gonna play along with these metronomes all year, all summer, the next year, et cetera, because it helps us learn what a steady beat feels like. And so the more we can practice along with the metronome, then when we turn it off, the more comfortable we're gonna feel taking the beat and holding on to it without any help. So the metronome is gonna be our best friend and you're gonna hear us use it quite a bit on these videos and when we play together in class or in rehearsals. So one more time, what's your number one job? Keep the beat, keep the beat. I want you to wake up tomorrow in the morning and the first thing you think is keep the beat. Keep telling yourself that. All right, another very important thing that we're gonna talk about today is the musical alphabet. And in music, we only use the first seven letters of the alphabet when we write our music. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So there's our seven letters. Now, when we get to G, instead of stopping, we start over. A, B, C, etc. So our musical alphabet starts with A, but it keeps going after we get to letter G. And it's even more important that you think of this alphabet not as a straight line, but as a circle. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And when I get back to G, notice my next letter is A. And I can start anywhere on the circle that I want to. I can start at C and go all the way around and back to C. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I can start at E and go backwards. E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E. So it doesn't matter where in the alphabet I start, I can always go forwards and I can always go backwards. So think of it like a circle more than a straight line. All right, so now we're gonna practice saying the letters of our musical alphabet out loud. And we're gonna say one letter for every time you hear the beat. So I'm gonna start our metronome and we're gonna have a beat going. And then what I wanna do is every time we get to a letter, we're gonna say that letter and match it right with our metronome. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Good. Now, when we get to G, we wanna go ahead and add the first letter that we started with back onto the end of our row. 
So we'll say G and then A to finish it. So we started with A and we'll finish with A. Let's say that. And one, two, and ready and go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Good. Now, it's very important that when you say the letter, you say it very clearly. Because B, C, D, E, and G can all sound the same if we don't make it very clear on how we say the letter. All of those letters have the same last part of the letter. B and G both end with the E sound. So it's what happens at the beginning of the letter is what's super important. And our word for that is articulation. So articulation is how clear we say the letter. It's how clear we announce a word or announce a letter. So it's how we say it that matters. So when you say each of these letters, I want you to say it as clearly as you can. So A, B, I have to do the B sound to make the B really clear. If I just do A, B, C, D, E, everything's gonna start sounding the same and that's not very clear. So I have to use articulation or I have to articulate very clearly. So think about how you're starting the letter every time and make sure that we can all understand you very clearly. So let's try it again. Get our metronome, keep the beat. Remember that, here we go. One, two, and ready, clear. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Good. And I wanna make sure that every letter starts on the beat. So B, F, start it on the beat and make it as clear as you can. The next thing is we don't want every letter to bleed into the next letter. A, B, okay, I wanna have a break in there so I can hear where every new letter starts. So think about that this time, here we go. And one, two, articulate, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Good. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our alphabet and we're gonna add a foot tap along with our metronome. So we're still saying one letter per beat and we're going to pick one of our two feet. It doesn't matter which one. We're gonna keep our heel on the floor and we're gonna tap our foot along with the metronome to help us keep the beat. Then I'm gonna say one letter per beat, forwards and backwards. One, two, ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, C, D, A. Good, switch feet. And one, two, ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, C, D, A. Excellent. Now we want to add our hands in as well. So we're going to lay our hands flat on our legs and we're only going to use our wrists to move our hands up and down. So when I lay my hands down, you'll notice I'm only tapping using my wrists. So we're going to add our hands to our foot tap. Here we go, so pick a foot, left foot, add my hands, and one, two, ready, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, C, D, A. Excellent, switch feet. So I'm gonna go to my right foot this time, I'm gonna keep my hands going, and one, Two, again, go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, G, F, E, D, C, D, A. Great job. 
And I want you to practice that with all the different alphabets, A, then the B, then the C, all the way down the page, doing one letter per beat, using one foot and your hands to keep the beat, and then switching and using the other foot and your hands to keep the beat. And it's important that your foot, your hands, and whatever letter you're saying all line up directly on the beat. All right, that time when we use our feet and our hands and play with the metronome, I'm gonna show you that the metronome was set at 70. So you can see the little number there says 70 on the metronome. So seven zero, 70. So what that 70 means is what we call 70 BPM. And each of these words, letters, mean something. That's beats per minute. So when we're learning tempo and talking about tempo, this 70 beats per minute is how we describe the tempo that you're playing in a song. So 70, that number is what we would call our tempo. Well, beats is keep the beat. And minute has to do with time. So earlier we learned that tempo is also called beats, time, and pulse. So all those words work. Tempo is the official word for the speed, and that's what 70 is. Beats per minute, so there's our beats. And then time comes from the fact that it's a minute. So this tells us that you will hear 70 beats in one minute of time at that tempo. And so this is the tempo I want you to use when you practice your musical alphabet. So let's do a quick review from today. Okay, we learned that musical alphabet is the first seven letters of the alphabet that we use in music, so A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We learned that musical alphabet also is a circle, not a straight line, so we wanna think of it as a circle where we can go forwards and backwards. We learned to use articulation, which means articulate, which means say the notes very or the letters very clearly. We decided that we were going to put a space between each letter so we didn't run them together and make it sound mushy. We decided that we're going to use our feet and our hands to help us with the beat and we're going to practice 70 beats a minute saying one letter every time we have a beat. And the last thing we learned was keep the beat, keep the beat, keep the beat, keep the beat. Keep the beat. All right, great job, and we'll see you in the next class. So get your stuff and go practice.